Hey YouTube, Jay Fretless here once again with another mail day. Uh, last mail day was uh, all football cards. Uh, this mail day will be all baseball cards. Uh, all slabbed, all from eBay, um, all from auctions. Not really any real buy it now. It's, um, some best, best offer, I think. Best offers, but uh, in general, just uh, just watching those ending auctions and seeing what uh, what looks good to me at, at a good price and um, pulling the trigger, throwing those bids in at the last second. So uh, there's a lot of cards here, so let's just get right into it. Um, this one, uh, just kind of all over the place with this mail mailbag. Um, some autos, some rookies, obviously, and just uh, picking up cards that just just look great. I mean, yeah, that the eye appeal is just off the chart, and you'll you'll see. First card is an Ozzy Albies I ten auto actually clear SGC 10 for the card and obviously SGC 10 for the auto I I had heard um, on another video that SGC will only give 10 autos if, if if the auto is smeared or off the card or off the sticker if it's on an on, on sticker auto that they, they won't put the uh, and it's anything less than a 10 they won't put the auto auto grade on on the slab uh, I don't know how true that is but um, that's what I, I heard on another uh, video. So it's a good start. Nice card. I think uh, Ozzy, um, you know, obviously Acuna and uh, uh, will get, get all the hype. Um, but I think at, at the end of the day, at the end, at, when it's all said and done, I think uh, Ozzy will have a very solid career or maybe even a longer career than Acuna. So... Uh, you know, get a little discount on that, so uh, I, I went and grabbed it. Okay, let's do another. Oh, this one might be a little bit difficult to open, but This is another auto player I really like. Um, it's kind of been quiet for the past couple of years, well, relatively, um, but uh, still a great player. And I hope he uh, one day gets a ring. Um, I just thought that that was a nice looking call. Uh, gold, Paul Goldsmith, gold refractor. Uh, 2020 he's not a rookie or anything but uh, but still nice auto gem mint 10 reasonable price uh, it's numbered oh two two of 15 okay cool I didn't even know that but that that makes it even better <laughs> so that one's going into the PC. I'm not looking. I mean, something like this. This is like a long-term term hold. Um, but hopefully he uh, continues to have a good career. Cool. Okay, this one. Um, this started out, I think, watching one, one finishing auction and bidding on it, and then... And as it was finishing up, um, taking a look at, at the other seller's items, you know, and, and then uh, just going off and making offers or, or just watching a bunch of his auction clothes and just jumping on them, making making a deal, getting a little bit better pricing. Oh yeah, okay. So 
Let's start with the first one. Uh, Jordan, you, you've heard me talk about him before in my other unboxings, I guess. For some reason, I'm just latching on to him. I think uh, it's going to be a good, good investment for the couple, next couple years at least. So he start hits his prime and just. good upside definitely so that's a 95 SGC and that is refractor um, I like I like the uh, horizontal cards to be honest I like how they look um, coming from a photography background you know the photography jumps out at me right away on certain cards and um, I wish um, <laughs> side note I wish they wouldn't use the same picture of, of players I, I it was as, as much as these players get their get their pictures taken and I know that a lot of the stuff is done in spring training and stuff like that but or at least the old, old you know back in the day it used to be done in spring training um, I think they could they could definitely be more creative with the photos. I, I know there are some, and 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 we'll see some of that, you know. But I, I, I mean, how many times do they get they use um, uh, Tatis? You know, they just have one, and I think that they might be a pose of Tatis in this stack. But they use the same one over and over again for multiple cards, or uh, yeah. Tatis run, SGC 10, Allen and Ginter, Tatis. I like what Allen Ginter is trying to do, but I, I just don't think they're going to they get the love as obviously as the other cards. But I like that vintage look, but uh, it only goes so far. But uh, this was this was gotten at a pretty cheap price, so. Okay, another Tatis. Tops Gallery. Tatis Jr. SGC 9.5. Okay. Another Tatis, SGC 10. Archives, 2019. So what what do you what does everybody think about right? I mean, look, all these tattoos have the rookie the rookie shield rookie card shield right? With so many different quote unquote rookie cards for a player, I mean, how, how do you think that holds up in the long long term? Right? Obviously, there's always going to be that one card that everybody uh, that one rookie card of that player that everybody you know is the primary rookie card, but but nowadays. With the ultra modern stuff, I mean, there's, it's probably a, what over twenty Tatis cards with with the rookie sh rookie card shield on it, the RC shield. So, so how does that how does that pan out? How, how does that in ten years or fifteen years, right? What happens? Do does it then break down into how the card looks, right? Is it the pose, right? Is it is it the artwork? Right? Is it the the photo variations? Do they do they um, obviously? And then you know the refractors and the parallels. You know, obviously they're going to rise to the top, right? Because because at some point, you know, oh yeah, I got I have a Tatis rookie. I have you know what are you going to say? You have 20, 20, all twenty different ones or twenty whatever however, however many. It's just interesting. Let me know what you think about that because. Um, Seems like they're <laughs> using that RC logo pretty liberally. And then here, here's another. We'll close out this stack with the Alvarez. This is just, uh, you know, the seller was had this one too, so I just uh, threw this one in or threw in a bid, I think. Alvarez. 
Pops Fire. Gold minted. Again, RC. It's his rookie, right? <laughs> I don't know. I think at some point, you know, just the aesthetics look out. Yeah, I went out, you know, you like it. That's the one you're going to want, right? No, let's, let's do this one first. Okay, so the other one of the other mail days, I talked about this player on the Dodgers and uh, whether or not um, you know he can have a good 2022 season and kind of bring his uh, bring his um, hobby hobby cred back, but. Um, Gavin Lux. So uh, the seller had multiples of these and he had five left and I threw him an offer and uh, he accepted it. Auto accepted it actually. So um, so I grabbed five of them. Gavin Lux rookies. 2020 tops. All SGC 10. Got these for seven dollars each. I think even with free shipping, maybe. But at that price, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll take a flyer on it, right? If he goes into obscurity, who, oh well. You win some, you lose some. Okay, and this last one, I think this is the last one, yeah. Just, just looked awesome. Like I said, you know, with the, it's a little bit of a background in photography. It just, uh, when I see something uh, aesthetically pleasing, it just uh, jumps out. Let's do this again. It's this way. So this is a Juan Soto card. Uh, 2020? But this is a one of the, the variations, SGC 10, in his Expos, you know, the Expos Uni. I just think it looks awesome. Color-wise and just uh, horizontal. Uh, looks great. This wasn't cheap, but it's reasonable. This is not his rookie. No rookie card shield. But, hey, sometimes you just got to go with what looks good. Maybe, yeah, I doubt it, but maybe in the future, you know, there won't be such an emphasis on the rookies. I think, yeah, ultimately, the rookie card will always be just a little bit more, but the, what we're seeing with, with um, Kobe cards and Brady cards, um, you know, people are going to be buying the second, third, fourth, fifth year cards, right? You know, look for those ones that just look awesome aesthetically and maybe uh lower print runs lower pop totals but um, but wow that looks great cool all right that went faster than i thought um so that's it for this break um i still have a bunch of other cards coming in i don't know we might mix it up mix up the sports next but um but uh, thanks for watching, and if you like what you see, or if you like the content, uh, you know, subscribe and throw me a like, and you know, and if you have any comments, or questions, or you know, um, just just throw a comment in, uh, start a discussion. Um, I hope I hope uh, you get a little insight into my view on the hobby and. Um, we can exchange some uh, some knowledge, huh? All right. Well, I uh, hope everybody has a great weekend. And, um, and until next time, uh, thanks for watching. Bye.